Slime House TV, myself Theo Kane, just here at Popcorn in Magna and uh, standing next to this magnificent creation by Ryan Howard here. Ryan, tell me a little bit about how you made this man. Like, is, you made this completely from scratch in a garage in Nottingham, I heard. I did indeed. Started off, I bought a 3D printer and thought, what's the first thing I can do on a 3D printer? I thought, well, I love Johnny Five from a childhood. So, yeah, I started printing his head. Oh, you didn't start with a little one first? No, I didn't. No, Went no. straight in with a big boy? No, yeah, yeah, you got, you got to go big or go home sort of thing. So was that like an STL file that like existed or have you had to like cut yeah. that yourself and uh, stuff? No, I actually I got that off of the internet and uh, it comes from a group of people that went to the original Johnny Five and they got the drawings from the original Johnny Five and basically they made them available and I took it and and that's how I ended up with a, a replica. What I love about it is like, you get so many people at like these conventions and stuff that build things like Daleks, TARDIS and stuff. And it's all yeah. stuff that we love, but we've seen it before, but this course, is yeah. such a unique piece. I heard that there might only be like two of these in the country. Yep, yeah. uh, uh, yeah, I believe so. I think there's, uh, there's, there's two working replicas and there's also uh, a 3D printed one, which is fantastic in its own right. Cause uh, I, I, like I said, I started 3D printing it and I couldn't get to support its own weight. Uh, hence why I went down the line of making a, a metal. This full is metal. heavy duty. Like if you have a look around it, yeah. I, I got some shots around the back yep. and stuff like that like there's so much going on like I can see this thing weighs a ton like what's this way uh, somewhere between 250 and 300 kilogram no so, way yeah he, he weighs literally a, impressive a quarter of a ton <laughs> and you've got some signatures on it who signed it right so I've got a, a few uh, from celebrities where uh, I go to conventions and um, if they come over and they say oh I, I remember Johnny Five I say would you do me the honor of signing yeah, so yeah, yeah. Joey Kramer from uh, Back to the Future uh, no way. Yep, yeah, Veronica Taylor, um, and that's uh, Ash Voice from uh, Pokemon. Oh, which no I, way, yeah. Which I was yeah. really excited yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I've also got um, Danny Don Jules and Will Meller, and the piece of resistance, if you like, is on the front. I've got uh, Tim Blaney's signature, and Tim Blaney is the original voice and property of Johnny Five, and I've met him twice. Incredible. Absolutely fantastic. What guy. did he think? Oh, it, it was it was fantastic. He, he really, really loved him. And uh, when it came to him uh, uh, saying goodbye to him, he hugged him and says, I'll, I'll see you again, old friend. Yeah, no, nice it was one. really I special, that, that one. I love really that. Special. Yeah, it's been really popular yeah. today. I can see people really loving it. Yeah. And you brought this little small one with you. Tell me a little bit about this. Is this the exact same one that just printed small? It is. So this was actually a gift. Uh, um, okay. Someone uh, is, is quite nice, really, because people come and meet Johnny Five and they bring me gifts. Of course, I display them because yeah, Johnny yeah, yeah. Five's got much use for them. Uh, but this is by a, a guy named uh, Sean Bastin, which is also signed by Tim Blainer. Um, fantastic little model. Um, there isn't many um, people that do the models because they're so intricate. Yeah, yeah. And there was no merchandise from the. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> there isn't any um, merchandise from the original films. There's none. Yeah. Yeah, they did nothing. So. If you want one, you have to have one made, unfortunately. Yeah, it reminds me of the ones from uh, Short Circuit 2 in the start yep. of the film, they're running yeah, around. Yeah. Why do you think it is that there is no merchandise? Surely this is a movie that like should be up there with like E.T. and Lost Boys I and, and, and you know, all these movies that like Gremlins and Critters yeah. and stuff that people love and these merchandise and they want to yeah. see sequels. Why, why do you think it is with Short Circuit we don't get that? I, actually spoke, I love it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I spoke to Tim Blaney about it yeah. and he said that they were so intricate that they didn't have the technology in the 80s to make them uh, affordable for people to buy yeah. so they never made any and that, that's simply the reason I mean it's such a shame because mm. I, I you know um, it feels like it's begging for like a Super 7 like little release I or something agree. like that, like a little 3 and 3 I bet now you'd be able to. Yeah, but, uh, all day. You can do Star Wars droid, uh, IG-88 and stuff, you can do yeah, one of these yeah. surely. No, wicked. Yeah. This head I was looking at as well, this yeah. is like an armour plating that wasn't used in the film or something? It was, um, so all, all the robots um, start out as what they're called Saint yeah. robots. Uh, obviously this is number five, um, and there was five all together. And um, they all have this head armour. and. Uh, when I spoke to Tim again, he said that it sort of obviously they had to identify him from the original uh, uh, in the film because the other four came after him. Right. So they had to sort of say, well, this is Johnny Five and these are the different ones. Uh, but as he's escaping, he sort of loses his head armor, right. and that's to you know make him more anthropomorphic. So all like the evil ones in the movie, that's the head. Exactly. That they have. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, awesome. Exactly. Do you know a little bit about like how you've got it working? I've seen you like controlling it from yep. your iPad and these servos and yep. stuff. How, how much is going on inside this? Oh, uh, unbelievable. Man. So um, it's controlled by uh, a thing called a Kyber system that was uh, developed by uh, Matt Hobbs in, in America and, and he made them for uh, droids and uh, little Wally uh, yeah, yeah. systems and whatnot. And then basically what that does is, is it calls sequences which I program on the iPad. So I'll make a sequence like a, a cartoon. So I'll say go there, go there. And oh, then. Like, an, like a 3D exactly. animation. Exactly. It's yeah, just yeah. like a. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then I uh, then input that into the carb system and 
just get the, the carb system to recall those. So it's all stored on Johnny 5. I just ask it to play, basically. That's the You sound like someone that's not only like got a creative brain, but like the technical side of stuff as well, which is usually like two separate brains. You sound like you've got that all going on in one head. Yeah. What else does it you do? Because like, I take it that this isn't like the first thing that you built like this. You must be yeah. a, guy, a dude that builds this kind of thing. Uh, no, this is the first thing really? I literally just no thought. Way. Um, I mean, I, was, I started out as a car mechanic and I became a forklift engineer. And uh, I didn't feel like I deserved the title because I wasn't an engineer. Yeah. Funnily enough, I'm actually doing a degree in engineering now. All right, right. <laughs> so, and it, but without Johnny Five, it, it probably would have never have happened. started it all. Exactly, yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, I became an engineer and I thought, well, I want to, I want to be a proper engineer so what do I have to do? I thought, well, I'll do some engineering things. So yeah. I bought a lathe, a CNC machine, and yeah, I'm, I learned how to, I taught myself how to machine off YouTube. Well, you've absolutely smashed it, bro. Yeah. Like, even just if you just built its head, like all the, like, the lenses and stuff that's going on, it yeah. all looks so perfect. A lot it? of it original parts. Really it cost original me parts, absolute yeah. fortune, but yeah, I want yeah. it to be as, as close to the original as You can't as put a price on that, though. Like, if, you, if someone offered you a price to sell that now, like, you can't put a price oh, on it because no, the amount of man no, hours that's gone no. into it, the amount of like, one off parts and stuff. No, no you've absolutely smashed it, man. Out of all the stuff at the concert, it's like my favourite thing here. Oh, thank you very much. So it's nice to meet you, man. Keep up the awesome work, and I hope to see him at another pond in the future. Thank you, Joe. See you again. Nice one.